Bro, what? <laughs> this is like rare. You ever heard of anybody stealing a Tesla? Um, matter of fact, an electric vehicle alone, an EV alone, is just at the bottom of the list for getting stolen. But um, this is actually a pretty interesting story. So um, <laughs> let's check it out, man. Oh my goodness, Tesla thief tests his luck a second time. So I believe he stole one and he tried to steal another one. Hey, man, just here to make sure you have an okay life, keeping you guys updated, bringing the news to you, the car market, EV content, motorcycle content. So join the family, hit that subscribe button, drop a like for me. Uh, let's check out what they got on Fox 5 Atlanta, man. Fox 5 Atlanta. New at 5, police in Fayetteville say that a man who stole a Tesla from a dealership last December returned it this month to try it again. And it didn't go so well the second time Fox around. Fox 5's Doug. So he got away with the first time. What? And then tried to return it to a dealership to get another one? What? Doug Evans has more. When you rip off a Tesla, that's $112,000. Apparently, that wasn't a big enough payday for a Maryland man who came back to the same Fayetteville dealership and allegedly tried it again. Fayetteville police say back in December, Fowd Kimmel used the Tesla app to order a new car from this dealership on State Road 85 in Fayette County. Police so he ordered a Tesla. He say he took delivery, and afterwards the company realized he had allegedly swindled them. The, the way the process works with the Tesla app, they you're able to input your photo ID and submit payment to either purchase the vehicle entirely or to, to give a deposit. After you completed that process, you go to yeah, the dealership, you... present that same ID, and then you receive your vehicle. He he did all of that using a fake ID. Oh man, Tesla's in a boatload of trouble. But man, we've seen this um this past year, this past year a lot with people trying to go into dealerships with just just completely a fraud. And um they will call again. They now have machines where you put your ID through, they put your ID through there. It detects everything if you're if it's fraud or anything. Now they have those new technologies now, but man, you have I mean fake social security, man. So yeah, he had fake ID, fake social security. I mean, wow, and got and got through the first time. I'm surprised Tesla didn't catch it the first time, but sometimes it, these hey these thieves scammers be so good. At what they do and getting through the system, you know. But man, the fella got greedy and and decided to go back for another one? That's tough. Again, we don't promote any kind of stealing or any kind of violence on the channel, but man, that is ridiculous. They give him the vehicle after he receives the vehicle. They determined that the, the ACH transfer that was used to purchase the vehicle was indeed fraudulent. On January 6th, police say Kimmel returned after making another online purchase of another new Tesla. Police say... Oh, yeah, he thought he was going to run it up and just get Teslas and Teslas and Teslas and have them a whole dealership and get a million dollars. You see what happened to that last female down there in Atlanta or wherever uh, tried to run, it, run, up, run it up? To a million dollars she buying teslas lamborghini she bought a new house yeah 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 y'all think y'all gonna get away man y'all should y'all should just be happy that you got away with it the first time and it was swept under the rug but some of y'all just take the rug and swing the rug around happy and joy they coming to get you you got to go to jail but they say this fella's out on bond. Oh, man. But again, when I read this this title, I'm probably just like some of you guys. You're, you're probably like, somebody stole a Tesla. How? I'm like, yeah, you can't just steal someone's Tesla. I mean, it's literally 
very hard to do. Um, and those with these kind of cars, technology that's in these vehicles, and me being a Tesla owner for the past four to five years, um, I would tell anybody, go ahead and try. Good luck. Like, I'll let you steal it right in front of me. Good luck. So this wasn't like a steal, steal vehicle type of situation. This was like a, a buying fraud stealing situation. Employees remembered him and called 911. Police say Kimmel again had used a fake ID to purchase another Tesla. Police arrived, arrested him, and another man who they say was not part of that first Tesla purchase. Kimmel is charged with two counts of financial identity fraud and forgery, as well as theft by taking and theft by deception. The 24 year old is from Silver Springs, Maryland. Also arrested was 26 year old Hazma Adao of Stone Mountain. Police say they've charged him with one count of financial identity fraud in one count of obstruction of an officer. Fanville mm -hmm. police say this is an ongoing investigation and more charges are possible. One more thing. Police say that Tesla has yet to recover that first stolen car. I'm Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. They ain't got the first car? Oh, man. Sheesh. Well, people, that's the way the world is going, you know. People are desperate at, at, at all time high right now. And I, I really thought like, man, somebody really stole a Tesla. I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know, some way figured out some kind of like hacking, you know, technology that can hack the computer or the ECU or something. Because, hell, they got everything. In today's time, everything has been created. You know what I'm saying? Like, pretty soon we'll have, you know, see-through, transparent TVs or something. I don't know. Like, everything has been created. And new things are coming out every single day. You know? Just like they have a device that can literally steal your one of those chargers or uh, challengers. Um, it could trick the computer as if you it, that machine is the key to the car you know now me to be honest with you i really don't think nobody will come out or figure out a technology that could hack into tesla computers but hey it's possible i believe but now nah, this fellow was using fake ids social security card numbers all kind of stuff that is ridiculous man that's ridiculous y'all comment down below how y'all feel about that man in Georgia. Mm, mm, mm. And then got excited and came back to get another one. That's what kills me. You know. Times are getting tough for people though, man. People are, will do anything, try anything. They don't, they don't care about charges. They don't care about going to jail, prison. Nobody care these days, man. People are just ruthless, reckless, savage. And that's what the world has come to, man. So, hey, we're wishing the best in everybody's life. Y'all be safe out there. Be aware of your surroundings. We hope that everyone gets home safe to their loved ones. And, hey, spread that love. You never know what somebody's going through. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, you guys.